It started with an email. A part-time employee at Saling Matali, PLLC, a full-service accounting firm serving clients throughout the Austin area, received a reminder to renew her password. In the middle of a busy tax season, it would only take a few seconds, and just one click. The email looked legitimate and hit all the right notes. It looked something like this. Shortly after, leaders in the firm received a notification that certain documents had been uploaded and downloaded. That set off alarms for Catherine Drake Mattily, who immediately recognized that the part-time employee did not work on those files. The firm shut down the employee's access to email, but not before the part-time employee had received an email asking her to reset her password to the firm's portal, allowing the hacker to gain entry. That access, too, had to be shut down. But the damage had already been done, they'd been hacked. A flurry of activity followed. The firm contacted their information technology vendor and their insurance company. Fortunately, Drake Mattily says, they did have cyber insurance coverage. They also reached out to local law enforcement, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and their IRS stakeholder liaison. They also called their lawyer. Eventually, they made the calls they dreaded the most, notifying clients. The forensics team had carefully combed through the firm's files and cross-checked manual hits to data sets. They had a list of clients that the hacker had potentially accessed. And they had a list of taxpayers that had not yet filed returns. That combination was important because hackers targeting taxpayer data tend to move quickly to file to claim fraudulent refunds. Why would a hacker target a tax firm? Drake Mattily asked, because they want tax data. Armed with that data, they urged their affected clients to file as soon as possible. Having a legitimate tax return on file would largely mitigate the damage. The firm also offered credit monitoring to the exposed clients. That benefit was covered through the firm's cyber insurance. Also covered? The data forensics work, the process of reviewing the files took months. Cyber insurance also paid the cost of notifying the affected clients. Remarkably, the firm didn't lose a single client. Most were appreciative that we responded quickly, Drake Mattily says. The scam that snared Drake Mattily's firm has been making the rounds in the tax world, so much so that last month, the IRS alerted tax professionals to watch out for a new round of filing season-related email schemes. Typically, the new client scam peaks during tax season, which runs from January through April. Not only are tax professionals expecting new clients to reach out, but folks in the industry are busy. That can make it tempting to simply scan an email and click. The new client scams have similar patterns with an occasional twist to set them apart.